Hello and welcome to JDFusion.com. I'm Gustavo Barizon in a new tutorial on JD Outdoors Enterprise One 9.1 installation. In the agenda, we have six topics and I'll show you in detail how to download the images on the delivery, how to prepare the, the images, the files, the directories after you download and extract the files. We need to install Oracle 11G 32-bit before to install the JD Outdoors demo. And also we have a post-installation procedure uh, we need to copy the tnsnames.ora file to the right directory. Uh, and finally, uh, system check. I will go through the system with you, okay? But remember, this installation requires Windows 64 bits. Don't install in 32 bit version, it's not gonna work. The JD Address team, they did an outstanding job on this new version, and I hope you enjoy. And please let me know if you have any comment, any question, or problem. I'll be more than glad to help, okay? So, thanks for watching and let's go all right after you log in with your credentials on a delivery uh, you need to to find a jd address enterprise one in microsoft windows x64 then uh, look for the media pack for this uh, enterprise one okay so here it is um, let's look for the standalone uh, files the standalone are, are composed by four files 50, 53, 51, and 52. 50 and 53 are related to the client, 51 and 52 are the database files. I will explain you better uh, on the directory preparation step. Okay, but before that, uh, let's go uh, and download the Oracle database 32 bit. Okay, basically, you need to find again. Um, and look the Oracle Database 11G release 2. Let's go to this media pack and let's download a Oracle Database release 2 client. Okay, uh, this is on, only one single file download. And that's it. We are ready now to go to directory uh, preparation step. Okay, uh, we, we must download, we must arrange our files our files in a certain order so the 50 and 53 they are related to client 51 52 are database so let's go to the 53 select all cut and let's paste in the 50 okay here we have the jd Outdoors directory let's go to the 52 with the database files the cabinet files and let's paste inside the 51 okay so but now we need to move, we need to select all over here, cut, and we need to paste on 30 party Oracle. Okay, let's paste over there. And basically that's the, the structure, the, the directory structure that we need. But let's check here uh, that as we don't have any file on those directories. But let's follow Oracle recommendation um, and let's Put this on the root directory and let's rename. Uh, let's use the Oracle naming convention here um, and let's rename as standalone underscore 9.10. Okay, I can delete now uh, these directories, these temporary directories. And okay, let's just make check here. Here is uh, exactly what you need to have on your computer. Okay, this must be exactly as in on your workstation all right but before to install jd others the, the demo itself we need to install uh, the 32-bit version okay let's go to setup and let's extract and go set up and run right click and run as administrator okay and uh, click on administrator this is important thing you don't miss that because you're gonna have problem and click next here uh, as you can could see uh, I I'm always clicking in the right to start in program to start anything I'm always clicking with using the right button and then select run as administrator um, just because probably if you have user account control enabled on your system on your Windows uh, you must run as administrator otherwise you're gonna have problems okay so don't forget that 
but this is not only for the Oracle client installer for the 32-bit version. Uh, this is the same rule for JD Edwards Enterprise One, the install manager. Um, we need to install as we need to run as administrator. Now the, the we are ready to go. The installer the 32 bit finished, and we are ready to go to the the standalone uh, installation. Let's go to install manager. Right click, run as administrator. Choose the database. Uh, the database installation has no prompts for you. Uh, it's straightforward and goes through some. Uh, screens. Uh, it takes a while, it takes almost half hour, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Um, don't worry about that. And here is uh, the, the final uh, step for the, the database itself. I just cut the movie and you don't need to stay with me for 40 minutes, okay? But that's it. And, um, and after uh, the completion, after this setup, been completed, uh, it, it, it will ask for a machine reboot. Let's reboot the computer, let's restart. But as you can see here, um, the Windows is shutting down. But as you can see, I'm running using Oracle uh, VirtualBox. This is a VM. Uh, I create a, a virtual machine to run this Windows. My operation system, my base operation system is Linux. And just let me know if you if you need some help, if you need some uh, help to how to set up this uh, VM, okay? The virtual box. It's really fast and, and reliable as well. So again, install manager, run as administrator, and let's go to standalone client now. To the standalone client, we, we have some prompts. We have some prompts and here is uh, the Oracle Universal Installer. This is a new feature for JD Edwards. Uh, click Next. And then I, I want to show you uh, the package selection. Here we have name, description, path code, the type. Okay. Click Next, Next again. Install mode development. Next again. Here we have a summary. And in the summary, the most interesting thing to, to, to see uh, is that all Java components it's already being installed. You don't need to worry about to get through the Oracle website, run Java, install Java, download and install, and then copy some directories, and then... No, it's over. Now everything is inside this Oracle Universal Installer. As we can see, the Oracle uh, Web Client is now being installed. And again, it takes up to 40, 30 minutes, 40 minutes uh, to install. And you just need to be patient. But now, as the, the, the installation ended, we still have a next step, the final, the post-installation post procedure. Uh, let's copy the tnsnames.ora from our JD Edwards instance and let's paste on the, the Oracle 32-bit installation, okay? So basically we need to copy this tnsnames.ora and paste on app JD demo, uh, product 11.2.0, client1, network, and admin. Don't worry if I'm going fast here. But I wanna, I, I will write down this on the blog, okay? All right. Now we can run the JD AdWords, uh, user ID, demo, password, demo. We are almost there. Okay, JD AdWords up and running for you. So now, uh, this is the final, uh, step, the system check. Um, as you can see, I did not edit the movie. I'm running in real time with you in the same pace. And this is what you, you're going to see. It's fast and things happening uh, really, really, really smooth. So the, uh, the tnsnames.ora is the unit change that you need to do. So there it is. Uh, congratulations. You have your Oracle JD Others Enterprise 9.1 9 9 .1 up and running in your workstation, okay? So basically, uh, this is a new look. 
I really love this system. I really love this new look, this new looking feel and Oracle, the pages. Um, yes, I hope you enjoy uh, this tutorial and thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.